Ortiz. Still to come on the 6 o'clock news, the cloud of secrecy surrounding the filming of movie Iron Will has lifted. When we come back, Michelle will take you to the set of this Hollywood feature for a peek at the elaborate sets and the familiar faces that will soon grace the big screen. Stay with us. Duluth's Graceland Plaza, just across the street here, has been transformed into a Hollywood set for the motion picture Iron Will. That's right, an exciting turn of events that until now has been kept off limits. Semi-trailers surround the Graceland Plaza, guarding the top secret filming inside this Duluth landmark. It doesn't matter who you are. If you don't have clearance, you don't get in. A lot of people have tried to cross the plaza's marble threshold to gain the secrets of Iron Will, but the doors have remained closed until now. After considerable negotiation, our camera was granted entry to capture the transformation of the old hotel into Winnipeg's Imperial Hotel. While there, we also caught the excitement of the Musher's Banquet, a pivotal scene in the movie Iron Will. You're a Will Stoneman. a boy. I paid my entrance fee, and my, I set my entrance for him, and my $50. I want to run the race. The race is the Carnival Derby, a dog sled adventure between Winnipeg and St. Paul, the year 1917. Will Stoneman, the young man who rises to the challenge. Stoneman is played by Mackenzie Aston, the son of Patty Duke. David Ogden Stiers, formerly of MASH, portrays railroad magnate J.P. Harper. They and over 200 extras are being directed by Charlie Hayde, another TV veteran. Despite the many pressures of creating a motion picture, this former Hill Street Blues star maintains his sense of humor. Usually I have my assistant here <laughs> sitting in talk to Kevin's assistant who's standing next to him, who then talks to uh, my wife who's sitting here, who then leaves a message out here to Kevin who comes back and talks to my ex-wife here, who talks to the producer. And then it all comes back to me. For two days, the smoke-filled plaza has been ringing with the sounds of song and calls to action on the set. In between, makeup is touched up, props are adjusted, and extras learn how to hurry up and wait. All the while hoping that this movie will open the door to future Hollywood roles. That's well, great. It looks like a great party, and we missed it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm now convinced that I'm going to have to lie and tell everybody that I'm in the movie, even though I'm not. Oh, I missed wait, my casting call, Wait a minute. Didn't you get that pink slip you that saying? you were supposed to go across? You're this? saying I missed my casting? Well, there you go. Well, He who waits. It looks like it was a lot of fun, though. We got a chance to go in there yesterday, mm -hmm. and you did a nice job on that story, too. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. fun. Yeah. Well, the food, by the way, used in the Musher's banquet scene for the filming of Iron Will was prepared locally. Executive chef Bob Bennett of Bennett's Bar and Grill in Duluth worked closely with the movie people, they worked to create a menu that would reflect turn-of-the-century fare. For the mushers, they wanted more of a basic uh, hearty type meal, so we did ribs and, and lima beans and potatoes. And then for the, the executives or the high rollers, you know, we had a, a game feed of squab and pheasant and turned vegetables. Mmm, sounds good. Well, Bennett's culinary skills will also be used in several other scenes in the movie Iron Will. He and his wife, Kathy, both say they're enjoying their brush with Hollywood. They do nice work. For many of now, us tonight at 10 o'clock, we are going to take you inside the Graceland Plaza in downtown Duluth, where movie crews are shooting the film Iron Will. Many local people were used as extras in the ballroom scene, and they got a chance to see what it's like to be on a real Hollywood film set. Some people, you know, because they didn't get out on some people sat there for the whole time and they didn't even get out on the set. They treat everybody like you're important to the film. And, and they really try hard to do that, even though you're pretty much irrelevant. We'll get a lot more on the locals' reaction on being behind the scenes in a feature film. We'll have a lot more on that filming tonight at 10 o'clock. Our very first behind the scenes look at the filming of Iron Will when we come back. The movie Iron Will at Duluth's Graceland Plaza required the help of many local people who served as extras in the film today. Now these extras saw Tinseltown up close. Is Hollywood and their people as glamorous as they appear? Well, we'll check in now with Colleen Mahoney for the answer. Graceland Plaza turned Hollywood set as movie crews moved into Duluth's old hotel to shoot the film Iron Will. Many local people were extras in the ballroom scene. By working anywhere from 6 to 16 hours a day, extras like Jay Cole got a good look at behind-the-scenes Hollywood. 
the scale of it is so huge. You know, there, there's so many people there doing different things, and, but everything, it works. You know, it works really, you know, smoothly. Cole, like the others, was dressed and made up to become part of the turn of the century scene. But some of the extras didn't make it into the film, which caused some frustration. But Cole said the crew still made them feel needed. They treat everybody like you're important to the film. And, and they really try hard to do that, even though you're pretty much irrelevant. Because some people sat there for the whole time and they didn't even get out on the set. Despite the long days, even director Charlie Hayde took a break and had some fun. You know, it's pretty sad when all they give you to film a movie of this, that, this size is a handicap. It really is bad. I'm trying to get probably 300 people in this room. All they gave me was a handicap. So uh, it says a lot for the economic times right now. As for the extras, who may or may not make it into the film's final ballroom scene, they can still say they played a role in getting to know Hollywood and its people. In Duluth, Colleen Mahoney, Eyewitness News. And from movie making to eyewitness sports, a Minnesota man wins.